if we just did it with no mic? Yeah, and then uh, Frank would say something about it. What would Frank say? Frank would say, why aren't you guys using the mic? It sounds so much better. Right, but then we could just say on the spur, lazy. women of the moment. We got lazy and just did it while we were kicking back on the bed. No shower today. We did go get groceries. We did get groceries, yeah. We're blacklist marathoning it. Yes, we are binge watching as the kids say these days. We're not kids. I know, I didn't say as the kids do, I said as kids say. Oh, we are on episode, no, oh, season six, episode two of the blacklist. Yes. Yeah. Catching up finally. So, what's in store for us? Other than sitting here in Commerce, Georgia doing nothing. Well, we got a load tomorrow. Woo Picks up uh, South Carolina. Takes us down to Laredo. Laredo. Which has a gazillion trucks right now. Can you tell me exactly what a gazillion means? A gazillion is... More than one? Yes. But less than what? Less than two gazillion. That's what a gazillion is. So, for you mathematicians out there, there's a formula of some sort, I'm sure, that you can use to figure out what that is. Yeah. This is what you do when you don't have a load. You don't shower. We did shower yesterday afternoon. It's not like we haven't showered in days. We showered yesterday afternoon, and there's one on the schedule for this afternoon or this evening. So don't, it's not like we, you know, are even dirty, showered. Dirty right. and filthy. Uh, but the fridge is stocked. The fridge is stocked, yeah. Might make us some dinner. It's eventually dinner would be good. There's some chicken thawing in the sink. Seeing how an Uber takes 20 minutes to get here. Yeah. Because we're very rural Georgia. Last time we were here, we Ubered to the Commerce Bar and Grill. Sports Bar and Grill. Sports Bar and Grill, excuse me. Where Miss Hannah was pouring behind the bar. Miss Hannah was nice enough to say, hey, don't wait too long to order, too late to order your, your ride back to where you're going because after a certain hour, it's hard to get Lyft or Uber to show up, so. That's in downtown Commerce. If yeah. you haven't checked it out, Check definitely it out. do so. I noticed uh, on Google yesterday they have thrift store next door that would have been fun to hit up yeah wow. um would have been would have been but we are sitting here in their newer loves here in commerce uh the last time we were here was in september and they were barely open maybe a week a yeah. few days actually i think it was uh it doesn't take long for a word to get out and it is now a happening place it's still nice and clean though yeah it is they haven't let anyone destroy it no so we just wanted to give you an update on what we're doing today and put out a quick video. So, peace. Nothing exciting. That's somebody else's tagline. Oh, peace. Well, we can do it because they yeah. haven't done a video in what seems like months. <laughs> so maybe maybe their fans just want somebody to say it. Say not, peace. Not that they're our <laughs> fans too. Oh, Annie has something to yeah, say. Goes. No. Okay, right. we won't do that. We will say. All right. Don't leave money on the table yes, don't unless do you're it. dining out tonight and your waiter or waitress deserves it. Nice. All right. Good night. Have a good weekend. <laughs>we're gonna do part two of our today video because I got to thinking about something I've been wanting to do I want to do question and answer Q&A with Vince and I wow my hair needs a shower okay so we're keeping it real today Ooh, look at us up close and personal that's pretty up close that's a no shave up close all right so Q&A here's some things I want to ask you you ready yes maybe I'm you'll ready. maybe you'll quickly think of some things to ask me okay uh, what's your favorite place, not including St. Pete's in Florida, that we've been to since we've been driving? Dallas, Bishop Arts District, Beverly's Hall. What's your favorite food on the truck that we make? I like the gum that we have. The gum, we use, we chew Mentos gum. It's not food. I really like it. That doesn't count. No food. Well, I mean, maybe I'm trying to send you a message. That I don't cook good food? Oh, maybe, maybe whatever. Maybe what You're saying. on cooking duty then. I guess I won't get dinner tonight. My favorite food that we cook on the truck. Mm -hmm. I like when we do steak on the grill and maybe an artichoke. 
Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty yummy. I like that. Yeah. The gum's good too, though. What's your favorite thing inside the sleeping part of the cab? The bed. Because mm. I get to sleep in it. I like sleep. What's your favorite thing about the truck in itself, not including in the sleeper berth? That it has a big bed? No, not including the sleeper berth. Oh. Um, the truck itself. You know, it's hard because it's an M2 business class Freightliner. Um, I used to drive a Cascadia. I miss the controls on the steering wheel, honestly. <gasps> I miss having a window button on the window itself, on the door, and the driver's side door. Got to reach to the center console for the windows. I'm not complaining, it's just stuff that I miss from the Cascadia. Um, so I'm kind of rambling here, trying to think about what I like about the truck. I like the tag axle, because we can put it up in California and do 65. We don't, 60, 62 usually, but... Um, I like that we don't have a trailer. I like that class B straight truck, not the having to try and park a 53 foot trailer. And we can, we can park in a lot of places that you can't get a 53 foot uh, trailer into. Um, I like the lift gate. It makes things a little more convenient when you're delivering somewhere without a dock and he's licking me. Um, yeah, that's what I like about the truck. What's one place that we've been through that you'd like to stop and visit? Vail. I'd like to stop in Vail and visit Vail. You've said nice things about it since I didn't see it the first time. And the second time I was too busy focusing on the snow and ice to see it. Do I have any more for you? These are some quick ones I've been thinking about. Um, one goal that you have for us this year. One goal that I have for us this year. Make lots of money. That's not it. It's not a goal. How is making money not a goal? No. Uh, improving on our revenue for the last year. Mm -hmm. How's that? Because that's making lots of money. Um, <laughs> goals I have for us for this year. Um, just keep having fun. Just find new places to go and hang out and experience and and be able to share with, with all of y'all the places that we want to go. Come here. Do you have any questions for Come me? Here. These spur of the moment ones? Spur of the moment questions? Yeah. Um, can we get a cat? No. Okay, that's good. I, I don't want a cat. Okay. Um, I mean, I like cats, but Annie, Annie, no. It just wouldn't work out. If you had it to do all over again, what would you do differently? Because I know you'd do it again. What would you do differently? Oh, if I had it all over to do again, yeah. what would I do differently? Hmm. She just wants belly rubs. I would have done it sooner. Okay. Last, not last summer, because that's when we started. So the summer before when I started going out with you on the truck. Right, okay. I probably would have maybe done it sooner. You would have watched the Crafty Trucker videos sooner when I showed them to you the first time? I would have watched them sooner. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. all right. Um, because otherwise, I think that we, once we, once I just said yes, I think, because we put a vision board on the wall. I mean, seriously, folks, we put a vision board. Big poster board, post-it notes. It was a two-month long, and we moved those post-it notes, and we hustled. We made it happen. We did. Uh, I pulled the trigger the first part of April, and by June 1st, we were in orientation. That includes school, getting my license, everything. So we hustled. I, I definitely pulled the trigger on things, and... And we may, I mean, Vince had everything, so he just needed to give notice. But uh, well, I needed my hazmat thing endorsement still. But we we hustled and we made it happen. Yeah. So, what's one thing you would change in the sleeper if you could? One thing I would change in the sleeper if I could. I mean, not like the sheets. Yeah, those don't change themselves, do they? They don't. So we don't have an induction cooktop. I think I'd like that, but I don't know. More drawers. I've been in the Sarimpas, Gypsy Truckers, if you don't all follow them on YouTube. Nope, they're nope. not on YouTube. Facebook. Facebook. Uh, they and their truck have many drawers, but I know that they don't have the bigger fridge, which I like the bigger fridge, but I do wish I had a few more drawers. You know what, now that I think about it, right here above us, 
We've got the sleeper, the extra sleeper above the extra us. Extra bunk so. above us. Yeah. yeah, that's what I would change. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, what is your favorite part of random roadside level two inspections? <laughs> Are you serious? You just went there? I just went there, yeah. I just called you out. So last night, folks, I was driving from Ohio to Georgia and somewhere in Kentucky, past a nice cop doing his thing on the side of the road, waiting for that person who really needed to be pulled over. And guess what I got? I got the red lights, the blue lights, the hey, you need to pull over. I was freaked out, let's just say that. I hollered back to Vince, who was sleeping, and I said, I'm getting pulled over. Uh, my favorite thing about it. Yeah. He was doing his job. And kudos to him for doing his job. I applaud him because there are people out there not following the rules. Um, obviously, I pass with flying colors because we have everything the way it should be. And High Field provides us with great equipment. <clears throat> so I passed all the light tests that he asked me to do. So that that is... Um, I just was a little nervous. I thought I had done something wrong, and I, I knew I hadn't, but I, I just didn't know what I had done wrong. So it was it was scary. What was your least favorite thing? <laughs> the fact that the lights were in the mirrors. Um, he approached the passenger side. I was not expecting that. I was looking for him in my driver's side mirror, waiting for him to approach the truck. Um, and while I was looking out that side, the driver's side door flung open. Passenger and it's, side door. Sorry, the passenger side flung open, and it did startle me. There was no knock, no nothing. He just simply opened my passenger side door. Uh, it was followed promptly by Annie barking, wanting to do her job. And uh, so that probably was my least favorite part of it. I'll show you guys Annie, but she's too comfortable right now. So, do you have any more? Uh, no, I think that's it. I think that's all the questions I have for you right now. Do you want to get a shower? I always love a shower. Look at my greasy hair. I know, your hair is so greasy. Or a hat all So day. greasy. Oh, I've got clips so in it. Greasy. Are you for real right now? Mine's greasy too. I didn't even get the makeup crew on tonight. No makeup. This is just me. I didn't even have any pre warning. Jeez. We're doing a video. You I just know. started recording. I mean, I know. Here they we can are. see in the beginning of both videos what right. I'm preoccupied. Should we hold it up some more so your eyes are open? Um, yeah, please. There we go. Now How's look that? Higher. Ooh, your Ooh, eyes are open. Here, let's take my glasses off. Wait, There's my wait. eyes. Oh, hey, Mom, look at those. Yeah, I can't see a thing anymore, but it's okay. <laughs> you guys can see my eyes. They're pretty, aren't they? Yes. I have pretty brown eyes. Yes. Uh, shout out to the Serimpas who are in Florida. We're jealous. Just the Serimpas. How about the Castles who are kicking tail heading to Arizona today? Yes, and our other two teams. The Robersons. Yes, and the Bigs. Mm, I think they've left Laredo by now, heading to oh, Laredo, Mississippi. Yes, and the Bigs for being so patient in Dallas, I Texas. Hope, I hope the Bigs went to Bishop Arts Districts and there in Dallas and got out of the truck. I hope they did. But yeah. so we're giving anyway. shout outs to everybody. Yeah, so shout outs. Out, out of everybody, though, I do wish I was in Florida. Yeah, I wish I was in Florida too. Of course, the yeah. other teams going to Arizona. You know how we love us some Florizona. Eh? Yes, we do. <laughs> All right. With that being said, truly. Don't leave money on the table, folks. Good night.